Hey, how's everybody doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Witch Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Uh, we are do we're doing a video today on the Immerse 4K Cinema. This is the giant sample sheet that I built because I wanted to show the screen off on a much larger scale than doing these little small sample sheets. Anyway, this screen is around 7 feet high and around 10 feet wide. It is quite a big sample screen, really big. Now, as I said before in my videos, uh, that um, when you're using a long throw, now for a short throw, a screen like this is not that hard to fill up. Um, I have a, long, a short throw upstairs, sorry, and that's an NEC LCD I have up there. I think it's the M300XS. I'm pretty sure that's, I think that's the projector right there. But anyway, um, I have that projector seven feet from my screen to accommodate 150 inch. Now, if I'm using a long throw, even if I were to pull it all the way back, I think my living room is around 13 feet wide. If I were to pull it all the way back, I still wouldn't even be able to fill that entire screen out. So in the basement where I have a lot more room to play my measuring tape to fill out a screen size of seven feet by 10 feet, I would have to have my projector sitting all the way back to around 19 feet. So we're 19 feet from the screen. We're using my Casio DLP projector HDMI. This is a hybrid projector, which means it has uh, two different forms of technology. It is using laser and LED at the exact same time. And this is 2,500 lumens. So 2,500 lumens, 19 feet back from the screen. Now, as I said before, that when you're using long throw, you're gonna to have to pull it back longer, pull it back farther, sorry, farther, in order to accommodate the size of the screen that you're gonna get. Now, mind you, this is only, um, get my settings set up here. This is only 2,500 lumens. I've seen people using, in a dark environment, 4,200 lumens, good gracious. 4,200 lumens, I'll tell you what 4,200 lumens is used for. Not at 11 feet back, 4,200 lumens. I mean, you can nail a screen at 20, 2,000 lumens, at even 1,800 lumens, even 1,500 lumens at 11 feet back. The only time somebody uses that kind of power of 42 and up is when you're using this for a club scene or maybe you have this for a church or some kind, or a school or expo, whatever you have, where there's gonna be a great deal of light in the environment and depending on how far you have that projector back to accommodate the screen, uh, you're going to need something that's going to be to cut through a lot of that ambient light because you're going to lose a ton of your lumens as you're traveling through all that room and coming right back. For, it's going to hit the, hit the screen, have a beautiful picture and come back. So you're going to drop and lose lumens. So that's why they start off with such a high-end projector because by the time it hits the screen, even at 3,000 lumens, the screen's going to come up fantastic. That's just to basically carry that projector through all that with that bright image and hit that screen and come back. But you're talking about 11 feet away, 11 to 12. That's, um, that's a bit overkill. And then if you do this with the lights out, complete darkness, I mean, come on, are you kidding me? Of course the screen's gonna look fantastic. It's 4,200 lumens, are you kidding me? You're doing that and 11 feet away from the screen? That's like I said, when I go in, you watch those uh, demonstrations with these big companies, got a 16K projector, like 7,000 lumens, and it's sitting like eight feet away from the screen or 10 feet away from the screen. Of course, the screen's gonna look fantastic. The projector is doing 90% of the work. All right, so we got ours back at 2,500 lumens, and we have it back using our, our Chromecast in the back of the projector. I think I'm gonna stick with the Chromecast for now on. I like it better than the laptop. It's easier to just plug it in the back. I run it Wi-Fi off my cell phone and I absolutely love it. So I think I'm going to go stick with the Chrome Gas. Uh, later on, I'll upgrade to the 4K. All right, so let's turn our projector on. Listen to that. This is how quiet this is. This is a lamp-free projector. I still can't get over that. I'm loving it. It's lamp-free. I would never, ever, ever turn my speakers on I got my sound bar hooked up. I would never ever have to worry about um, blowing out my uh, my um, my lamps, and I I'm pretty rough on my on my on my projectors, so it's a good chance I probably would blow one out easily. I blew, I've blown out a couple. I've blown out actually a BenQ MS500. I blew one of those. I blew the second bulb out in like six months. That's because I beat the crap out of my stuff. 
All right, so we're gonna link it. We're gonna link this up real quick. So right there is already linked to YouTube that fast. I'm running this off Wi-Fi. All right, and there we go. We're good to go. We're already linked that fast. And we're streaming through our cell phone. We got the sound bar hooked up at the bottom. It's connected to the projector. And like I said, as I said before, you know, the, this is the Immerse 4K Cinema screen. These screens are designed with color enhancement technology. Look at this. It's absolutely fantastic. At 19 feet away from the screen. So if a customer comes up to me and says, hey, look, my projector is sitting back 19 feet, sitting back 17 or 18 feet. Will your screen, with the picture of the quality look fantastic? I'm only using 2,500 lumens. Will it work? And I can say, yes, it will. You know why? Because I can actually pull this video up out of my YouTube collection and go here, check it out. This is what I've done. But I think I'm, I got one upstairs. I have a Chromecast, a Google Chromecast for upstairs. I'm gonna buy me another one for down here in the basement. It's just much more convenient. Just plug it in the back and be done with it. Now when I get a 4K projector, I am going to be hooking up the Chromecast 4K. I do apologize, in the last video I was supposed to put links at the bottom about the Chromecast. I will be adding that on the bottom of the video. On both of them. Okay guys, let's see what else we got over here to mess around with. I'm going to change the video to another one. Unlock the power of Excel and work with confidence. At LinkedIn Learning, our video courses... Look at this. Everything pops up on this thing. Commercials. I love this. A chance I gotta straighten out the screen a little bit. I got a little bit crooked. Gonna grab another one. So I do like the Chrome, I like the Chromecast better because number one. I can run it right through my cell phone and I don't have to keep going over to the laptop and changing up. I can just do it right here from, from the cell phone. Easy to do, easy to switch the videos up. Now I'm doing this in 720p because that's as far as my phone goes up at 720p when it comes to videos. This is freaking cool. I'm having a ball here, people. Do this one next.
my we are 19 feet back from the screen my projector is all the way back here look at the picture quality so as you can see you don't have to go overkill on your projector you know just in order to have a fantastic screen I don't know who chose the intro <laughs> the music for this demonstration it's, uh, inter it's interesting but it's strange okay it's pretty interesting but just look at that so no matter where I turn at in the environment whether I'm way over here against the wall over here in this corner right here the screen looks fantastic look at that And as I said before, that even, you know, when your projector is traveling through any kind of light, what happens is the images, the, the pixels have to expand to make the image bigger, which means you will lose some kind of picture quality. And as you can see with our technology, we're not losing one pixel whatsoever. It just looks absolutely fantastic. That looks gorgeous. This light doesn't make a difference. Look, light on, light off, light on, light off makes a difference. Look how gorgeous the color is. Sorry about the lines, guys. Just look how beautiful that looks. And keep in mind, my projector is all the way back there. 19 feet back. And that's what my screen looks like at 19 feet back. Drop another light. Just beautiful, beautiful picture. I'm gonna step from the projector real quick. I do apologize. I'm trying to keep from doing that. And here we are, all the lights out. 19 feet back. Wish the music was a little better, but meh. Let me get up close on that screen. It shows you how beautiful the immersed 4K is. This is a beautiful, beautiful screen. Look at the size of this screen. The screen is gigantic. This is, a good, this, is a, this is a good size screen. Now my 150 inches is bigger than this. I'm going to be upgrading my screen upstairs. Now I am going to be upgrading the Platinum 4K Cinema to the Immerse 4K uh, Cinema screen. Oh, look, this is the reason why I'm going to be upgrading it. I'm going to be actually moving from a size 50 to a 175 inch screen. This is going to be a fixed frame screen I'm going to be putting upstairs. I'm going to put some really nice uh, center speakers behind. I'm going to soundproof the wall so sound doesn't push over to my neighbor's house. And I'm going to um, put my speakers behind the back of it. Okay. Throw my lights on. Like I said, this is only, and look at, look how beautiful, for quick, look how beautiful the picture is. This is only 2,500 lumens. We're at 19 feet back on an immersed screen. There we go. Look how beautiful that looks. Just wish the music was a little different, but eh, can't complain, can't complain. Just look how gorgeous that picture looks. Now, we don't need 4,200 lumens. We don't need 5,000 lumens. We don't even need 3,000 lumens. I'm doing this on 2,500 lumens. You could do the matter of fact, you can hit this with 2,000 lumens and it'll look fantastic. 
Okay. Let's go over here. Throw our lights back on. I'm gonna skip over this real quick. See? Okay. Here we go. That looks fantastic. Let's see if we can find ourselves one more video. This is gonna be my last video for today. I have a lot more work to do. That looked fantastic, didn't it? Hmm. What's this? Oh, I've done this one already. Code with confidence using Java. At LinkedIn Learning, our video courses led by I'm gonna let it play. Teach you about object-oriented coding, including how to work with variables, data types, and other critical language components. How to control program flow. Now keep in mind, I'm streaming all this from my uh, cell phone. My cell phone's in 720p. My projector is only 2500 lumens and I'm 19 feet back from the screen. And look at the picture quality of the immersed 4K cinema. Now you imagine if I hit this thing with a 42 uh, 4200 lumen projector. Whew, I'm telling you. But pretty soon I have a projector soon coming in. It's going to be around, uh, I'm looking to purchase it myself and it's, it's going to be around 6,000 lumens. It's going to be 4K. Now, a 6,000 lumen projector 4K, I plan to have this thing back at least 30 feet. Because putting 6,000 lumens on a screen, even at 10 to 11 inches, is just ridiculous. It just is. It's just too easy. That's why I don't like to do demonstrations with short throws, because short throws is just it's too easy of a demonstration. Now, the big screen I have upstairs, I have no choice to do that on short throw, because uh, you wouldn't be to fill out the entire picture. But it, my short throw sits about 7 feet back on that screen. Now, when I had the larger screen, 150 inch downstairs, I had to I had to use. I was using long throw. It had to be back there in the closet, so I was about 13 feet from the screen. This time, I decided to build the screen this way, so it had more room coming this way. So I'm now 19 feet back. That's the one thing you know about my demonstrations. I have put my my screens have been in different houses, different environments. I have I do screens over here, demonstrations on the, the fixed frame screen uh, from 13 feet back, from 19 feet, from 20 feet, 25 feet. I've done my screens on so many different levels, on so many different distances, on so many different forms of projectors. I've done DLP, I've done LCD, I've done LED, and now I have laser. So I've pretty much done them on pretty much everything. The only thing I have to do now is this 4K, and I've pretty much covered everything. That looks gorgeous. Okay guys, I'm gonna call this quits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video demonstration. I did, I had a ball. I'd like to thank you all for watching. You guys all have a good one. Um, I've gotta get back to